Hey everybody, it's Ricardo, and I am here at PAX with Randy Pitchford, who just surprised the hell out of everybody with Duke Nukem. So, Duke Nukem Forever, Gearbox is doing it. What happened? Yeah, well, that's big, big deal, right? Um, honestly, I owe Duke my career. Uh, I moved out to Dallas to join George Broussard and Alan Blum and Scott Miller and the Duke Nukem 3D team so I could be a part of that, help build that brand. And uh, and that, that Duke Nukem started my game development career, working on Duke Nukem 3D and those games back then. And, um, you know, I left the studio in 1997 and started Gearbox Software. And we've, we've, you know, we've been very fortunate with Borderlands and Brothers in Arms and the game, you know, the Half-Life games we did and, and helping Microsoft and Bungie, Bungie get Halo to the PC. We, we've been very fortunate. So we've been very successful. And, and when Duke ran into trouble last year, you know, when, when 3D Realms kind of got to the end of it and, and we all read the stories, you know, and they, they had to shut down their studio and, you know, lay everybody off. You can't let the Duke die, man. We couldn't. You, you couldn't let the Duke die. And you know, I, you know, I, I've known George and Scott for years, and I've known the guys that you know created Duke. And, and I was there back back at the beginning. And so, um, we were in a spot. We were in a position where we felt we could help. And uh, you know, we had Take Two as the publishing rights, and they trusted us. I mean, we we did great with together with Borderlands, and uh, George and Scott, I think, trusted us. And so, what, what I was able to do was make a bet. Somebody said, always bet on Duke, and I, I, I went all in, man. Let's make this happen. Duke can't die. So talk to us about what we're seeing, because it is, I don't know, it's just, we're all a little, I think, dazed, because the assumption would be we'd get like a trailer, and then we'd have to wait a while. But you guys kind of brought a lot here, so talk to us about what you're showing off. So with Duke Nukem Forever, we've all, I mean, I've been on the sidelines too, like everybody else, for, for over a decade, you know, and, and we've gone through the full range of emotions together, haven't we? From like, oh my God, I want it, to like, what the hell's wrong with those guys, to that's stupid and making fun of it, to, oh crap, that new trailer looked pretty hot, and it's like, wow, are they teasing us again? Like, we've had the whole range of emotions on this thing, and so we knew that, after, you know, I mean, we've been at it for over a year, you know, and, and but we knew that when we were going to tell people, we couldn't just make promises. We couldn't do the normal thing. We couldn't, you know, nobody's going to trust the developers. Nobody's going to trust journalists about this brand anymore, about this game. So what we decided to do was let's come to PAX because PAX, is, it's not a trade show for the, for the retailers or for the press. It's a trade show for gamers. It's a show for gamers. And we decided to bring the game to PAX. And, and like, it doesn't even, like, the booth we've got, it, does, it just says Duke Nukem Forever. People, and the lines are sick, I didn't expect this. But uh, the people are waiting out there for like four hours. But you get inside and you can play the game. And so what we've done is we've brought the game here to give an opportunity to the tens of thousands of people that have come to PAX, the, ga the gamers that have come to PAX, to give them an opportunity to, to play the game themselves and see for themselves that it's real. And we think that's the best thing we can do. Now I know everybody wants to talk about it, and I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things to say about it, but we really wanted to open by just giving, putting it in the hand, hands of gamers. Now, we're not going to see the footage, I think, for a little while, for a lot of reasons, but what can you tell us about what people are playing here? What slice? Well, we brought a we brought a demo. We were showing people um, uh, kind of some snippets from a lot of different things because it's a huge game and all the kinds of things you'd imagine you want to do with Duke and all the variety that you'd, you'd expect to be there. It's all there, so it's a huge game. And, but in this context, you know, people won't have an opportunity to play, you know, for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. So what we did was we took a couple of pieces and and, and brought them together so people can have a playable experience, seeing a couple areas in the game. And there's a boss monster fight. And there's some, I mean, there's some just classic Duke stuff. But you become Duke, and you're here to save the world and save our chicks from these these friggin' aliens. What about multiplayer? Yeah, multiplayer's there too. And you know, come on, are we gonna have a Duke game where I'm not gonna be able to shrink you and step on you and you freeze me? You know, we're gonna have to do all that stuff, and it is a blast. And so, next question, big one: When's it coming out? We are bringing the game in 2011. Now, you have to understand that in order to keep this thing quiet, we haven't talked to anybody about it. In fact, I think. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but my understanding is uh, 2K talked to the retailers for the first time this morning, which means we haven't yet gone through the process of, of talking with all the retailers and figuring out the exact market timing, but it is absolutely coming in 2011. We are in the polishing stages of this game now. We would not have brought it here unless we were confident because we cannot have our, our change drift around anymore with this game. So we are in the polishing stages. It is coming to the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, and the PC, and it's real, and people are playing it right now. You know, once we get past the shock and awe of all this, we're gonna have an opportunity to talk about all that, and I can't wait to come back to GameSpot, and we will show you everything, and, and we'll play the game together and have a blast. All right, well, it sounds like he promised he's gonna show us a lot more really soon, so Absolutely. until then, this Duke Nukem Forever actually coming next year, and check back on the site for a lot more.